YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, I am back from vacation and back to doing weekly reset videos. I put out a poll over the weekend, should I stream on Tuesdays or should I do the weekly reset videos? I'll go back to streaming uh, on Tuesdays when there's like a big live event going down. But until then, let's do these weekly reset videos where I go over all the new things to do within Destiny. Uh, this is the final week of the Festival of the Lost, and also we have increased infamy for Gambit. Uh, quick PSA guys, at the end of the video I will be giving away a set of Astro A50s, so stick around until the end of the video, and if you'd like a discount on Astro products, click the link in the description. But yeah guys, this is the last week of the Festival of the Lost, so before the next reset you want to spend all of that candy and all of those strange coins over at Evil Avante. Now for Gambit, with the increased infamy, make sure you're grabbing all of the bounties every day if you will be playing Gambit that is, whether they're PvE or bounties that you complete within Gambit, if you're trying to get your infamy up for either triumphs or you're grinding for the ritual or even the pinnacle weapon from last season, uh, you're going to need some infamy, so make sure you grab all of those bounties if you're playing Gambit. Alright, let's get into the weekly reset. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button and make sure to hit subscribe if you want more Destiny daily content. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, looking at the weekly strikes, let's see. Well, the weekly Vanguard strikes, you've got Solar Singe. Uh, the Nightfall Ordeal strike is going to be the Pyramidian over on Io. If you get yourself over 100k score, you will get a pinnacle drop. Bungie made a change last week, and if you were over 950 power, those pinnacle drops will be plus 2 power. Uh, let's go take a look at the modifiers if you want to do up to 980. Uh, as you make your way up, you get more and more modifiers. For 980, you've got Shocker, when defeated Goblin spawn uh, arc pools that cause damage over time. We're going to have Overload Champions, Barrier Champions, uh, your equipment will be locked. Match Game, Attrition, Regeneration is greatly impaired, defeating enemies may create Wells of Light. We have Champions Mob, this mode contains additional champions. And Incoming Void and element, um, Environmental, sorry, <laughs> Environmental Damage will be increased. Uh, the best way to get the drops at the end of these things, guys, is just make sure you kill every single champion, whether you're doing 920, 950, or Master. Don't worry about the timer, just kill every single champion. Alright, looking at the old Nightfalls, we've got Lake of Shadows, Exodus Crash, and the Festering Core. The Festering Core is that new strike that came along with Shadow Keep and Season of the Undying. Uh, I'm looking at DestinySets.com and I do not see any Nightfall Strike exclusive loot. If there is any, I will put it in the description or pinned comment. For the Exodus Crash Strike, you've got the Impact Velocity Exotic Sparrow, you can grind for it if you want it. And Lake of Shadows has a kinetic grenade launcher called Militia's Birthright, so these are there if you want to farm those. The Flashpoint this week is located over on Mars, and uh, you just need to complete public events, you can do a heroic adventure, and you can do Lost Sectors, and then you go back and see Anna Bray, and she will give you a Tier 1 powerful drop. Now, the Heroic Adventure should give you about 30-35%, Lost Sectors give you about 10%, and the uh, easiest way to do it is just do public events over and over in a couple of Lost Sectors. One heroic adventure and you'll be good to go. You'll get your Tier 1 powerful gear drop. Okay, looking at the Crucible, we have lots of Tier 1, Tier 1, anything Tier 2 here? Tier 1, yeah, everything is Tier 1 in the Crucible. It's been a while. I haven't played Crucible since I was away on vacation. Alright, Momentum Control is back and let me know in the comments. Uh, how are you feeling about it? I hated it. Uh, one is because I hate Jade Rabbit. I like, uh... I like pulse rifles and getting non-stop killed by Jade Rabbit uh, got old rather quickly for me, but uh, it's great for completing your pinnacle weapons, uh, your, your ritual weapons for Crucible. I don't know. You let me know in the comment section. I personally felt like it was Call of Duty Hardcore. Uh, we have Elimination in Labs again. We've got Lockdown, so fight for Valor by capturing and holding zones, win rounds instantly by capturing all three. Uh, and if you complete these rotators, well, you get four. Um, if you complete four, you get a tier one powerful drop. We have Rumble. Uh, we've got also uh, Survival. So fight for glory by depleting your opponent's shared life pool, then eliminating them. Then you have Survival Freelance, which is a welcome addition to the game because you get to get glory, but you do not get matched against teams. And then lastly, we have the Classic Mix, which is just 6v6 and a whole bunch of different game modes. Okay, lots to do on the moon this week, and uh, we'll start off with the raid. Now, there is a new raid challenge this week. I don't know what it is, but I will put it in the description or pin comment 
moment when I find out what it is. In terms of the drops, well, the first encounter can give you the bow, fusion rifle, or boots. Second encounter can give you the reckless oracle auto rifle, the shotgun, or the uh, gloves. The third encounter can give you the pulse rifle, hand cannon, or the uh, chest piece. And the final encounter can give you the sniper, class item, or helmet. For the nightmares this week, if you complete a master difficulty nightmare, you get pinnacle gear. If you complete three, you get regular tier one powerful gear. Uh, we've got Dominus Gall. He can drop the essence where you can forge yourself the one small step shotgun. For Fogoth, he can drop the essence that will let you forge a chest piece. And Crota is going to drop the essence that will let you forge a bond. You want to go in and check in with Eris Morn, and you want to grab this bounty right here, uh, the Slow Wave Disruption. Uh, complete waves of Altars of Sorrow in Sorrow's Harbor. That will give you the Hymn of Desecration. Now, you can do this on three characters, and then you can go into the dungeon. Now, there will be two encounters that will uh, use this consumable and give you a chance at getting a weapon. Now, the dungeon can drop any weapon. However, the Pulse Rifle only comes from the dungeon. I got a couple of rolls on them, and... They haven't been really good. One of them had Headseeker and Outlaw, but I'm not I'm not a huge fan of high impact frame pulse rifles. But anyway, the dungeon will give you pinnacle gear, and when you complete it, uh, you will get a fully masterworked piece of armor. So pretty cool. Uh, for Altars of Sorrow, which will be right here, um, this week it's well, I'm sorry, uh, today it's dropping the rocket launcher. Tomorrow it will drop the shotgun, and the day after that it will drop the sniper, and it rotates like that. It's a daily basis, and as long as you complete it, you will get a drop. There are curated versions. I did a whole video on how to do this, what's the best setups, what are the weapons, what are the best roles in the weapons. I will uh, annotate that video on screen right now and link it in the description. And then also at the tower, if you're below 950 and trying to get your power level up, well, you want to do some bounties for Banshee, you want to do some bounties for Shax, you want to do some bounties for... Zavala, also uh, you want to do about 5,000 XP for Soraya Hawthorne, and also the Drifter, and uh, they will all give you Tier 1 Powerful Gear. At Core Array, you can see I left over my Tier 3 Powerful Gear, but because I'm uh, over 950, it's only going to give me a 950 drop, and that's where you're uh, killing tons and tons of Vex, and picking up their little materials that they drop for you, their Vex parts. Make sure to check in with Banshee every day to see what he's selling in terms of uh, mods, like today he's selling the Unflinching Auto Rifle Aim and Boss Spec, and also check the different materials that he takes uh, if you want to buy some upgrade modules, enhancement prisms, and ascendant shards. Also, as usual, grab all of these because they will give you some mod components as well as enhancement cores. All right, let's see what Tess Everest is selling, uh, namely for Bright Dust first. Uh, we've got the Boo emote, and this is a uh, 3,250 Bright Dust. Okay, that's kind of cool, but I think I'll pass on that one. We've got the Necro Beast, uh, the Sparrows, uh, let's see, we've got Custom Drive, Randomod, and uh, Destabilizers. Uh, we've got the Murder of Crows, Transmat Effect. Uh, we've got some shaders, and you've got your boons you can buy. You've got this ship here for 800, 800 silver, that's with real money. Anything with silver is real money. Got a Ghost Shell, let's see, what does it have? Oh, it's got Speed Demon on it, okay, Speed Demon. Public Defender and Random Mod. Public Defender increases loot from public events on all destinations. Although, I've never found that to be really useful. We've got an ornament, or we have a thornament. That's a dumb joke. Uh, the Boon Boogie for 500. Let's move along here, see what else we have for the event. All right, we've got uh, the Skeletal Bundles. We've got the Colonel Mask. Uh, we've got the Jack-O-Lantern. Uh, she sold this for Bright Dust last week. Uh, the Omnigo Mask, I bought that with Bright Dust last week. Tombstone, uh, she was selling that for Bright Dust last week. Seasonal, right? That's all the old stuff there you probably are familiar with. That's all the archived stuff right there. Let's take a look at some more Bright Dust. Let's see, what do we got? Okay, we've got the broom again. Ah, okay, so Jack-O-Lantern, okay. I'm not gonna buy that, but I think it kinda looks cool. I bought the Omnigo one just because I think it looks really cool. And I miss Omnigo. I miss the actual strike. That was, that was one of my favorite strikes. All right, if you're into the broom thing, I'm not. But uh, Custom Drive, Random Mod, Destabilizers. Uh, what else we got? Well, actually, you know what? You can either buy the Necro... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that was on the first page for the same price. But Necro Beast also, once again, on this page too. Okay, this Ghost Shell here. Let's see, what do we got? Guiding Light, so increased XP. You want that. Banshee's favorite, guns, uh, Gunsmith Telemetry, and a random mod. Kind of a cool looking uh, ghost shell. Uh, and this thing here, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Speed Demon also. Uh, Public Defender and random mod. Okay, that's kind of cool. And we've got the parting emote. All right, if you want to give someone a rose there, uh, there you go. You throw it at him. Cool. That'd be cool to give someone after you kill them in the Crucible. 
and we've got some transmat effects, and that is pretty much it, guys. All right, so, all right, let's do the Astro A50 giveaway. Here's what you need to do. Follow me on Twitter, at MesaShawn, because uh, the winner, I will DM you on Twitter if you are one of the winners, and I will pick randomly. So follow me on Twitter, uh, subscribe to the channel, click like on the video, and leave me a comment about something you're enjoying about this season, season of the Undying. And within that comment, also be sure to leave your Twitter handle. This way, uh, if I pick you as the winner, I'll see your comment, and also I'll see your Twitter handle. I will direct message you and get your address and uh, ship you the Astro A50 headset. And they've been all uh, redesigned. Yeah, they redesigned the A40s, uh, the A40 mix amps, and also uh, and also the A50. But I use the A40s because I sit at a workstation desk type thing. But the A50s are amazing. And uh, yeah, so remember, follow me on Twitter, at MesaShawn, be a subscriber, click like in the video, leave me a comment, and also um, make sure to put your Twitter handle in that. And a week from now, I will pick the winner. All right, guys, let me hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. And also, if you'd like to become a channel member and further support this channel, click the link in the description or click join on screen. We've got an amazing Mesa Army community over on Discord. Um, and also, we have a clan, a Mesa Army clan. As a bonus, if you need a clan, we have one for you. Just one of the benefits. But it's, it, it's really there if you want to further support my content and join our amazing community over on Discord. Discord. All right, guys, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually, you know it's on YouTube, and that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.